Ah, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. What happened in the ether? I surpassed him. What do you mean you surpassed him? I made sure he was poisoned by my blood before our little chat. Remember the cup of tea in the dining room? I wagered that Gregory simply wouldn't be able to let it get cold. Old habits do die hard. You put your blood in your tea? And he put the hangman's rope round his own neck. Ironic, isn't it? Unable to extract himself from his physical body, it didn't take much time for me to absorb him. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Holm told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emma will be able to help me. I hope Emma is fully recovered. I Emma, excuse me for turning up Louis, like- Louis, your timing is perfect. I'm not so sure. Home is dead. Killed by Mortimer? How'd you know that? Home. He warned me that it was probably going to happen. Looks like she's better. Louis, I have brought Emily back from the ether. I beg your pardon? It was the last thing Home did, as if to give us a chance of making it through. He guided me step by step just before he disappeared. Unfortunately, I could only bring her back in the body of a servant. Are you serious? You brought her back in the body of a man? Have you seen many women on the island? No. So I had to make do, and anyway, she'll have all the time she needs to find another body if we get out of here alive. I don't think now is the right time to be cherry-picking bodies. I don't want to rush you, but time is short. We are in great danger. When Holmes sensed his death was imminent, he warned me that we would be next. It was to be expected. But why attack us? Good God! I know what he's thinking. He's obsessed with Cronus and Zeus. That's true, but what's the connection? He thinks he's both. Now one, now the other. What do you mean? Looking at the statue in the Great Hall, it's easy to imagine him as Zeus. And by doing away with his brother, he's about to start a war of the gods. I'll bet he's planning to attack his father, Emma. And besides that, he also thinks he's Cronus, devouring his children to ensure that none of his sons will turn against him. Hmm. In mythology, Cronus doesn't attack his daughters, if I remember rightly. Are you serious? Do you really want to take that chance? No, no, I was just saying. You can count on us. You wouldn't know how to defeat an ancient, child-eating, all-powerful demon, would you? Well, believe it or not, 
he gave me the answer himself. We're gonna need the blood from a demon older than him. And it just so happens that I have the Holy Lance. It touched the blood of Christ. What's the connection? <laughs> You're not trying to say that Christ is- I'll have to ask you to trust me on this one. Once this is over, we'll all have a few bones to pick, but for the time being- All right, all right, we'll follow you. Good, let's go then. Are you sure you're ready? You were all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. It's... it's all a bit strange. Sister, I believe we're ready for the end game. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head. Let's do it now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going, it's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Don't listen to him, Emma! Emily gave you her word that she would leave you the Duchess. Have faith in her. Your efforts are futile, father. I have faith in my sister. And me in her. Perfect. They won't let themselves be taken in. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, Emily, don't believe a single word of what he's saying. You both braved hell together, united, and that's the only way we can get out of here. Louis is right, Emma. Yes, you are right, Louis. We will not be misled by this kind of manipulation, Father. Good. We stand firm. If this continues, Mortimer won't have any hold on us. Emma, my dear daughter, let me help you. You have won. Look, you have it all. You. Ah, Duchess Hillsborough, you are rich, you are young, beautiful, influential. I'm so proud of you. You are the one I've been waiting for. You know what she's like. You know she harbors vengeance in her heart. She'll never let you have all this to yourself. Never. I beseech you, let me help you. Let me protect you, darling. Don't believe him, Emma. Look at what he did to Gregory, his own brother. You have no idea who he really was. I knew him. I endured his bullying. He was a vicious manipulator. Look at yourselves. Why are you here? Who persuaded you to kill me? Your very own father. Don't you think that since your arrival here, at my home, if I really wanted to kill you, I would have had every opportunity? Louis. No, Emma. Don't believe him. But Louis, it's true. Who persuaded us to attack him? Who whispered a plan in our ears? What can you say to dispute that?
don't listen to him, Emma. Ever since the beginning, the only thing he's ever wanted is to devour us. Look what he did to his own brother. I would never lay a finger on her. She is my pride and joy. You're the one who's trying to manipulate her, Louis. You're the one who convinced her to stand here in front of me, hoping to kill me. You are peddling the lie to anyone who will listen that my sole desire is to devour your spirits. But where on earth did you get that idea? From what you did to Gregory. And then there's the paintings. I... what? What paintings? Saturn devouring his children? What? Do you mean to say your entire plan rests on a feeble interpretation of my paintings? <laughs> is this some kind of joke? Emma, Emily, is this the kind of talk he's been using to persuade you to kill me? It's... yes, he... He stares a while at my paintings, and the only thing he comes up with is that, obviously, I must be a disgusting child murderer. Please, is that the only possible conclusion? None of you consider that perhaps... I might be nothing more than a collector enamored with a particular style? No, of course not. Let's all just agree I'm a cannibal instead. That makes it so much simpler. Louis. He has a point, Louis. You're the one who brought us here. Why? Tell us why we shouldn't believe him. This is all your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Stop! Emma, no! What on earth are you doing? Let him deal with Father himself! It is not my problem! Louis, no! I should never have trusted you again! We've lost everything because of you! Here, my daughter. I'm proud of you. You know what to do if you want to make sure she never betrays you again. Von Volmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal, as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress, Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess remained close for a few years to the royal couple until George III's health inexplicably worsened. She suddenly vanished from the royal court upon the advent of the regency of the Prince of Wales, George IV. His Eminence Piaggi, having successfully accomplished his mission, returned to His Holiness the Pope with full honors. 
Although all his ambitions had become possible, to the stupefaction of his entourage, the cardinal preferred to retire to his Tuscan monastery, far from all political and diplomatic commitments. Fascinated by the techniques of exorcism and demonology, he dedicated the last years of his life to the study of Inquisition reports. On his return to Paris, Peru gave himself up to his peers of the revolutionary courts. He admitted to being implicated in several state corruption cases. Found guilty of treason toward the Republic, he was executed without a trial. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months.